right, Canadians, we are back, and it's time to continue with our civilization. Still at war with Greece, but the war is going our way. In the last video, we were able to take the city of Gnosis after taking the city of Perspoli. Uh, we've got them pushed back to Corinth, Sparta, and Athens, which is pretty good. I still do want to break their back by taking out one of their stronger cities here in Corinth, um, but I was asking you guys about not taking Sparta just because it is a little bit too much of a powerhouse. Um, if they have, uh, say, artillery in the city or back here or battleship off the coast. Um, it will be a tough city to take. Uh, we would incur some uh, some losses, and I don't really want to lose too many units, because if I do, I'm going to have to rebuild them, and I want to go to peace with them when we have an advantage, so that I can get gold per turn or luxury resources per turn. And basically, the big thing is I want to just wrap this war up with Greece. Yes, we could eventually take them all out if I just focused all my um, all my efforts on military. We could easily take out everything that they have. But you have this sleeping power over here in the east. The Iroquois have uh, taken completely over this continent, which we know. And they're slowly but surely really starting to take over the Japanese continent now. All right, They uh, settled the city Buffalo up here. They took out Kagoshima. They took Nagoya. They're already starting to take Nagasaki now. Um, they're starting to take Satsuma over here, okay? So if they lose these three cities as well, then they only have uh, Kyoto, Osaka, and Tokyo back here, okay? And then, I mean, the Iroquois and our borders are very close now. So I really want to start focusing on the defense of the Iroquois because I know it's coming. I know it's coming eventually, okay? So that's why I want to wrap up this war with Greece. But I want to make sure that they never declare war on us again because they're way too weak, okay? So that's why I want to take out Corinth. It's the last city I want to take. Um, now we're in position I have a few infantry um, They're not within city range of uh, bombardment Unless they have an artillery in the city what I want to do is, I want to just try and mop up all the units that are guarding the city so I can move all my infantry up in one turn, move all the artillery behind them, take a few losses, and then the next turn take out Corinth, okay? Uh, so you're still a few turns away from that. But it's wanted to uh, give you guys a quick recap of what our plans are, okay? Still going after science victory. That is our victory that we're going after. So we can't worry about what the Iroquois and the Japanese are doing. we, we got to assume that the Iroquois are going to take that whole continent. Now, the Greeks, uh, they want to make peace with us, but I want more than that. Refuse. I'm going to take Corinth and then try to make peace. All right, so they're doing what I want them to do. They move back. So now I can move my units up. All right, get all of our artillery within uh, uh, range of the city now and uh, bombard it the next turn. Or maybe I wait one more turn just because all these guys are going to heal up this turn. They're not getting hurt. Oh, no. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Don't worry. We're going to take our time with this. All right. The Greeks really don't pose much of a threat. I just want to make sure I try to take the city without this, with, the least, with the least amount of losses as possible. The city's been converted. Yeah. Enemies been spotted in our territory. Yeah, there's a privateer up here. That's okay. Uh, you're going to get back in here. There you go. Uh, Persepolis has grown to four citizens. Good. Uh, that's good. Uh, Alright, so infantry, I'm going to give you rough terrain, you're going to get out here. Yeah, I'm going to wait one more turn, and then we'll attack, because then I can get everyone up there. Uh, missionary, I guess I got a missionary in Gnosis, I don't really need it, I'm just going to delete it. Alright, there you go, save five gold, or six gold per turn. Uh, you, infantry, you're really hurt, so you're going to go in the city to heal up a bit quicker, but I'm not going to wait for him to take out Corinth. Now you guys are all going to heal up. Uh, ooh, medic upgrade, hell yeah, heal up, son. There you go, oh, medic upgrade, heal up, son. There you go. Now, these guys are out here. They really can't do any damage to these guys down here just yet. Now, hang on. Let me just get everyone into position. All right. So what I want to do is I want to move you there. I want to move you there. I want to move you there. And I want to move you, whoa, 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 whoa. you there. Because the next turn, this guy's going to get healed up. And since this is a road, he can get to that tile. Right? And then this guy can that tile. This guy to that tile. Yeah. And then we'll have enough. So I'm not going to be able to go up too much farther there. So these guys are all still fine right there. Yeah, they're all in position. So I can use these guys to attack right now because I'm not moving forward. So I'll just use these guys to attack. All right, we'll see how much, see how much damage four artillery can do to uh, Great War Infantry in the open on uh, open terrain too. It's not a hill or anything. Uh, yeah, it's doing, yeah, it's doing some good damage. They might get the quick heal, but whatever. They're within range. Just make life hard for them. There you go. And if I move, yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Well, if I do that, then I'm in within range of there. No, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay put right there. There you go. I can actually upgrade my Gatling guns to machine guns, but that's a lot of money. I'll save that for now. Uh, you, can you attack? No, you're going to stay put because I'm going to heal you up one more turn. So the next turn we get in position, then the next turn after that we attack the city, okay? So I would love it if they didn't uh, move any more units on front of their city here, but they may. 
All right, they may do it, but I would love it if they didn't. Uh, let's go back here and check on Japan. Uh, it's weird, Satsuma is really hurt. They must, you know what they must have, Japanese? They must have, like, some bombarding naval units out here hitting the city, but no ground units to take it. It's weird. Same thing with Liza. It looks like they're getting bombarded, but they don't have any units to actually take the city. That's good for us. But still, they're going to take that continent. We don't have enough time to get over there to help them out. There's no way we have enough time. We need to build up a whole new uh, modern uh, military, basically. And that's going to take some time. All right, so next turn, let's see what the Greeks do. So you see all our infantry got healed up. You see, they did what I didn't want them to do, though. They moved up. But that, you know what? That's doable. Uh, it's... Uh, if I... I got to think. I got to think. They're not the strongest units, but when they put units there, that's going to take an extra turn to get to the city, right? Because if they just leave their units there, I got to attack. It's, I don't know. I got to see what I'm going to do here. Hang on. Cancel, 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 cancel. All right, so production. We finished the research lab in Ottawa. We're making 1,052 science per turn, man. That's great. That is a lot. Uh, we also still have a great engineer. We have two great engineers now. Look at that. We have two. All right. Um, the reason I was saving the great engineer was I was saving him for the Hubble te telescope, which is right here. But I have another engineer. Oh, I could use him on the Apollo program. Yeah, I'll use the uh, one engineer on one Apollo program, the other one on the Hubble space. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I got two engineers. I'll use them um, in the next two technologies. So you're going to stay put right there. All right, Ottawa, let's get going on a stadium for happiness. Yep. Uh, Imitep, you're going to stay put. Artillery. Okay, so this is what i got to decide what I want to do here. I could just... You know what? No, we're going to stall one more turn. We're going to stall one more turn. I don't want to lose any units. And I could just do myself s such a favor by just taking out these units from a distance. Alright? I know that they will be able to take out at least two infantry when I move up. So I just want to make sure that it's going to be a, a nice and easy run. And this is good too, because they're just... When we make peace, they're going to be wasting all this time on either purchasing or uh, building military units. And when we make peace, they're not going to be able to use them, all right? And it would have all gone for nothing, so it's good. Now, you are fully healed now, so you're going to come up here, and you're going to attack this Lancer. Lancers aren't really that strong, so, I mean, I don't have a problem with the Lancers being up there. But since we're here, might as well just attack. Okay. Yep, and you finish him off. Perfect. So with that little artillery barrage, we took out a Lancer and another Great War Infantry, okay? So just trying to free it up. Now, I don't want to move these guys up to these tiles because then they're within range of Sparta. Um, all of it is going to come from this side, right? All the artillery barrages. One more turn for the infantry to get healed, and then we're moving in. Yeah, I like this plan. This is better that we waited. All right. Now, even if they have units that move up here next turn, we're going in, okay? Uh, but let's just see what the military advisors say. Yeah, I mean, keep up the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We clearly have the victory. Um, let's see what they're doing. Oh, damn, look at that. That's what they did. They're raising the cities. Damn. <laughs> the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Iroquois are raising the cities when they're taking them now. They raised this city. Looks like they're raising Satsuma. Oh, man, that's rough stuff. Oh, well. Uh, can't do anything, can't, can't do everything. Uh, yeah, let's go next turn. Let's see if they move any units up here to block Corinth. No, they didn't. All right, so they went over here, so this is perfect. Yeah, the city's gonna fall, no problem. It does have a strength of 77, which is a, a good little chunk, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six... I'd say at least six artillery that can hit. I'm not gonna say these guys can, because I'm not moving them above where, um... Uh, into their, what's it called, their artillery range, their bombarding range. Alright, so we got, ooh, we entered the atomic era. Very nice. Alright, so rocketry in seven turns, so that's coming. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, we got another spy, that's good. Uh, no text to seal, no text to steal. Am I still leading in the text? I should probably just put them in my cities. Yeah, I am. Alright, so I'm going to use my spies, I'm going to take them out, move to, actually, wait, 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 hang on, cancel. Um, Athens and Ondaga, Tenet and Chichilan. I'm going to leave one in Onondaga because that's the uh, capital of uh, the Iroquois. I want to leave him there. But for the rest, you can go to Toronto. There you go. You can go to... We'll go to the next potential, Montreal. And you can go to... Let's see, can I sort by potential? Yes, I can. Ottawa. There you go. All right, so we got our um, spies blocking the other civilizations from stealing text from us. We're leading, so I can't steal any text. I am going to leave um, on, uh, or Maple in Onondaga just so I can look at his city whenever I want. 
All right, I can see that he's building a privateer. Still building, like, old-school military units, which is good. He's not going after planes and battleships as much, which is good. All right, but you can... I just want to have it so I can see what kind of technologies and buildings he has over there, okay? So that's what I want to do. So leave him there. That's perfect. Yeah, he's got battles. He has the technology to build battleships. He probably just has no more oil. Uh, so we got a courthouse done in Percival Lee, which is great. Our happiness is spiking. Uh, Percival Lee, okay. So Percival Lee basically needs to grow from the ground up. So let's just give it all the uh, the small buildings that it needs, like a granary and all that stuff. Slowly build it up. All right. Uh, hydro plant in Montreal, which is great for production. Let's get going on that uh, stadium for happiness. I really want to keep the, state, uh, the happiness way up there. Uh, city strength, there you go. All right. So now it's time for the siege of Corinth. So let's do this. You right there and you right there. Perfect. All right, so these guys may take some damage, but look, they actually don't have a single unit in Corinth, which is really good news for us. Great engineer, I don't need you. But look, they don't have a single unit in Corinth. They have a great uh, great general, but uh, still, this is really good news for us. You're going to move right up there. You're going to go... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 what the hell? Let me grab the units that I want to grab. There you go. You're going to go right there. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see. The city barrage. One, two, three. One, two, three. So these two tiles, all these tiles, I do not want to go on. Yeah, I do not want to go on those tiles. That is just, you're just losing a unit right when you, when you do that. Guarantee you they have um, some sort of bombarding unit in Sparta. So I'm not going to sacrifice myself. You're going to move up there. You're going to move up there. You're going to move up there. All right, now it's time to get the big boys into place. Uh, all right, so one, two, three. You're going to go right there. Very nice. One, two, three. I'm going to have too many here. Ah, uh, whatever. There you go. Um, You know what? I'm going to put this guy right here. He might take some damage, but uh, he can handle it. All right, that's the one unit that I'm going to sacrifice. Because then you can come up here, and then you can go right there. So there's two more artillery that can hit it. Uh, great, uh, General. You're going to go right there, so you can help out all these guys. All right. Yeah. Uh, you, can you hit the city from here? One, two, three. No, you can't. No. Yeah, you're going to go right there. Perfect. And then the rest of these guys are going to be used once again to attack these guys. All right? Bombard. Actually, let me bombard this guy and kill him off. This guy's not in any danger of getting anyone, so we're okay. So I'll just finish off the guys that I can finish off. There you go. All right, perfect. Very nicely done. Now, can these guys, since they're on the road, are they going to be able to attack? Hang on. No. No. What about you? Yeah, you can attack. What should I do? Attack you or start the city? If I hit the city, I'll probably just reheal right away. Yeah. No, I'm not going to hit the city just yet. I'll hit the Gatling gun. Because it will just heal up right away. Oh, there you go. Just hurt it up a little bit. Okay, so you can see the next turn. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was right. Six artillery that can hit it. And one, two, three, four, five, six infantry that can uh, take the damage. And hopefully within two turns of attacking, we can take it, all right? So next turn, we start the attack, and then the turn after that, we finish the attack. All right? Yeah, just looking around. Let me just check my waters. I haven't checked that in a while. Yeah, we're good still down there. Yeah, we're good everywhere. Next turn, let's see what they do. Let's see what they how they attack. Now, you know the city barrage is going to hit something. Yeah, city barrage hit the infantry, so we knew that was going to happen. Now, if they had an artillery and a few more artillery, that's the one, two, three, four shots that I was thinking that could happen. But uh, apparently they don't have a military, so this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Just imagine if Corinth had an artillery in it, and then another two artillery behind the city. They could have hit that guy four times, he's dead. Then the next turn, they kill another one, right? Like, it's, they can take a unit out per turn if they have a strong enough military and they're good at defense. A uh, great person has been born. Look at that. All right, I'm going to use this Aristotle, a great scientist, as a discovered technology, but not for rocketry, because I've already got it started. I'm going to use it on satellites when we get rocketry done, so that we can quickly get satellites, then we can quickly get the Hubble telescope, all right, which will give us two more great free scientists that we can use on getting more technologies, okay? We're really making that run for that technology race right now so stay put all right now we can attack yes we can attack now hang on uh stadium got completed in vancouver which is great that's more happiness uh i don't want to build no i don't want to build any military just yet Ooh, this thing yeah uh, i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that but uh three plus gold three uh, two plus culture and one plus happiness from every castle that's good all i have to do is build castles in every uh city and i would do that it wouldn't wouldn't be a problem doing that i could actually start it right now I think I already have castles. Yeah, I do. I already have a castle because it's showing armory. 
Uh, all right. Hydro plant got done. Might as, might as well get the harbor done. Yeah, because that'll help uh, build naval units. Yeah, might as well get that done. All right, so, Corinth. Let's see how much damage one artillery shell does to the city. Remember, we, we have six of them, so let's see. All right, so, yeah, it's a good chunk. That is a good chunk. With six of those hitting it, that's a good chunk. So, Persepolis was definitely the... Uh, the uh, harder nut to crack. They had all the military that they needed to block it. We killed off the military, took the city. Then they had a few more military running around while we took out Knossos. But by the time now, we've already took out two cities, killed how much of their military. You know, they got nothing left, basically. Uh, yeah, this is going well. This is going well. This is going just perfect, according to plan. Don't you love it when things go according to plan? All right, there you go. Boom, baby. Very nice. I might even be able to take it this turn. Let's see. No, you know what? Let's, uh, well, I actually will be able to take it this. Yeah, I will be able to because I can go one, two, three, and then four if I have to. Yeah, I'll be able to take it this turn. Let's just take it. What am I, what am I holding on to? No, Jesus, man. Let me grab what I want to grab. All right, there you go. You come in, take the city. Costly attack. That's all right. He'll be fine. Get in there, son. Infantry. You. Get in there. Yeah, it'll only take three infantry. Damn, one turn of artillery brush. I'm looking at Sparta now. Maybe it is a takeable city. Unless they have units, but they would have moved those units. I don't know. I may try to take Sparta, but if we run into um, a military in one turn, then we just automatically try to make peace. Annex the city right away. All right, just make it ours. There you go. We've broken the Greeks back. There's no way the Greeks will now at all be a... Uh, a force to be reckoned with. There's no chance in hell that can happen, okay? So let's just uh, finish off some of their units here. You know, I'm going to try and make an attack on Sparta. I'm going to try. If we start to lose units and it's not possible, I'll, I'll make peace. But I think I could take out Sparta. I think I could. If I just arrange all my uh, units in order and they all get there like within one turn, I think it is possible. So it's going to take a few turns to get everyone into position. Let me just Let me just see. Can I get you up there? No. So you're going to move... Yeah, all right, let me just try something here. We got some time in this video. Yeah, let me just try a few turns here. Uh, courthouse in Corinth. Yep. Let's go over here to the Japanese. All right. Oh, they're losing Kyoto. They're friggin' capital. Oh, man. The Iroquois are getting super, super strong. <laughs> all right. That's why I'm going after that science now. We need to make a speed run for the science. I'm expecting a friggin' huge-ass war eventually, man. This oh, The Iroquois are getting so damn strong. So the only thing that we can do is get just this strong on this side of the earth, right? Like, there's, I can't attack them. There's no way. No, I'm not going to help you. Get out of here. Get over it. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, open borders? No, I'm not giving you open borders. I'm not letting you see my lands. Get the hell out of here, goof. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Kyoto, the uh, Japanese capital, has been captured by the Iroquois. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! That is not good. Alright, so the Iroquois have a big chunk of land. They have like a separate continent to themselves now. Alright. Uh, trade route established. What? Corinth? Oh, because I don't have roads yet. Okay, yeah, the harbor. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, Alright, so you. Quick heal. Not quick heal, sorry, just upgrade. Alright, so let me get all these guys in position. Let me just see this. Uh, one, two, three. Alright, so right there is the artillery range. Okay, so you're going to move right there. You're going to go right there. Okay, one, two, three. Yep. Now, you're going to go right there. Now, here's the problem. If these guys start to get hurt before I am able to move up, and I, might, I may just want to make peace. All right? But watch, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, you're going to go down there. It's very possible that I'm going to lose a unit here. If they have a battleship in a city, if they have a battleship and an artillery in the city, this guy, expect him to die. All right? But I'm willing to just... Because I didn't lose any infantry in the actual city of uh, the the siege of Corinth, so I'm just I, w I just want to see if it's possible to take this city out with what we have on the field. Okay, so hang on, let me just move everything up slowly but surely. All right, now use you guys to actually attack. Now fortify. Can I actually attack with you? Yes, I can. All right, infantry, take him out. He's going to be the the prick to move. So get him out of there right now. You hit the infantry. You, you can't hit anyone. You can. Can I hit the infantry? Yes, I can. Hit the infantry. You are going to hit the Gatling gun, and you are going to hit this Gatling gun. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Never mind. 
All right, you're going to stay put right there. Yep. All right, so let's see what they do. If this guy dies, I'm calling it peace. All right, but if nobody gets attacked, then we may have we may be cooking with gas here. All right, so hang on. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, artillery, and it's not even in this city. So let's just see what happens here. I guarantee you, I probably lose a unit here. One strike. Oh, it was only one strike. Uh, it was only one strike. All right. You know what? Okay, I'm going to make a, a rule here. I'm going to keep this attack up until I lose a unit, all right? No matter what, until I lose a unit, I'm just going to keep the initiative up. All right, let's see if we can take this city out. I want to see if I can take this city out. Why not? All right, because the freaking Iroquois are making a big run over there. I want to I wanna just cut them off right here. Cut them right the hell off. Come on! The hell's taking so long. The Iroquois are doing something over there. Enemy's been spotted near Ottawa. Where is it? It's probably, yeah, it's these two guys. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. All right, yep. Oh, did the Japanese and the uh, Iroquois make peace? I think they did. Well, that's good. Semi, I guess, or maybe they're focusing <laughs> on us now, which is not good. Uh, go for that workshop, Percival Lee, so you can start producing stuff. Uh, we finished the harbor in Toronto. Good seaport. Yeah, that's uh, for more um, naval units when I need when I need them. All right, so let's try to move up here, okay? I'm just going to get everyone in position. I can't be waiting. I need to attack. So you're going to move up. So, okay, they only have one artillery, and he's he's pretty, he's hurt, you know? They don't have another artillery in the city. This is takeable. This is takeable. We can do this. Gonna hurt, but we can do this. There you go. Why is that taking a turn? Is that, is that a river there? Oh, it is a river. I couldn't even see it. I think there's a river. It, there's got to be a river there or something. River, river. That's not a river. There's got to be like a, I think there's a river right there. It's because the borders are covering it, but yeah, there must be because my guys are only uh, moving one turn and they have to stop. Uh, all right, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Now you, I want you within range of the city. You're within range. There you go. You are within range of the city now. There you go. Uh, now hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to do this the right way. You are not within range of the city. That's okay because I want to use you to attack this guy. There you go. Very nice. You, hang on, hang on. Okay, you're gonna go right there. Yeah, you're gonna go right there. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna go right there. Yeah. You are gonna go. If I go there, which how does he get there? Probably on the road. Yeah. There you go. I got this, boys. Watch this genius. Bombard this guy now. Very nice. Now this guy can get in. All right, boom, and now this guy can get in within range as well. Okay, and now you can go up there. Actually, you know, you can go up there. Fuck, why not? Yeah, you just surround the city, and you can go right there. Oh yeah, we'll be able to take this. They they don't have enough. They don't have enough. We have way too many now. All right, and you're gonna come right up there. All right, so set up, bombard. Now, I don't want to hit the city just yet. I want to hit the uh, the units because the, our infantry still has to deal with the units on front of the city. I just wanted to get them in place. Do you? Can you attack? No. Can you attack? No. All right, so we're going to end it right there because we got the, uh, the Siege of Sparta underway. I think we can definitely take out this city, boys, no matter what they have. They have one artillery that will not be a problem. All right, so all we got to do is take down the artillery, take down the four Gatling guns or the three Gatling guns around the city, and then take it out and then make peace with the Greeks. All right, get on top of the science that we are, uh, we're focusing on. We're going to get the Apollo program built right away. All right, then we're going to uncover the next technology right away and build the Hubble telescope all in like three turns, okay? Uh, but the Iroquois, something needs to be done. Should we just focus on setting up a defense for them or I don't know. All right, but don't worry. The end of the war is right around the corner. After Sparta, it is over, all right? So we're going to need a new goal after that. So let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next video.